So today's cook is the Christmas classic pigs in blankets. Now these are super simple, but they're well worth making yourself because they're a bit of fun and they taste so much better. Now the shopping list that we're using to create these are sausages. Now I've gone for some cocktail sausages. Now I've gone for these because they're relatively neutral in flavor. They haven't been seasoned with anything too much. So they've got the basic pork sausage flavor, but we're gonna be boosting those flavors with what we're adding, which is the streaky bacon, the smoked streaky bacon. Make sure it's the smoked streaky bacon. We're then gonna have some runny honey, salt and pepper, and some dried sage. This is the golden nugget of this. Now, you're gonna to wanna to prepare your sausages. Now, if they're in the string like this, you're gonna to wanna to chop them. If you're using regular sausages, you're gonna to wanna to cut them so they're about you know an inch and a half in length. Then we've got, we're gonna get the bacon, and what we do is we take the strip and then we're gonna flatten it out. Do you see what I did? I just flattened it with the edge of the knife and then I cut it relatively in half. And then you're gonna take your sausage and you're just gonna roll it up now you're gonna to want to roll it so there is at least um, you know, an inch overlap, ideally more. So you'll see on that first one, there was quite a bit of an overlap. Whereas the second one, you know, it had just like one and a half rounds. You want you want a decent seal because when they cook, the uh, the bacon is going to shrink. Okay. So if it isn't if there isn't enough of a an overlap they're going to open up and you might see at the end i think one or two of the ones that i did did actually open up but at the end of the day it's not a big deal okay so now we're going to season them what i would say is that salt is optional you know you could probably get away with it particularly if you've got you know you smoke streaky bacon but i would go with pepper make sure you get your pepper over it because you know we want we want, we want the flavor, you know, realistically, like streaky bacon, like who doesn't love streaky bacon smoked? Like it adds so much flavor. Then we're just going to get the sage, dried sage, and we're just going to liberally sprinkle this over, okay? I know it looks a bit weird, but it adds so much flavor. Now, alternatively, what you could do is before you've rolled them and put the sausages on the inside, you could season the bacon on the inside, okay? I have done that in the past. Uh... The only thing is it just it just makes everything so much long winded. And, you know, I'm all about making things a bit quicker. So you can see I've got, I managed to get about half and half of the prepared uh, uh, pigs in blankets into that basket. I then sprayed it with a little bit of uh, the spray. I also used like the uh, the tray underneath this time. OK, because I wasn't you know, I wanted the air all round for this one. So basically uh, they go in for about five minutes, okay? Then after five minutes, we're just gonna drizzle this lovely, beautiful runny honey, okay? And also this honey, this was just one of the, the real, the cheapest honey I could find. It doesn't have to be none of that expensive stuff. So some nice, cheap honey and just drizzle it over. This, the sweetness that this is gonna add, this sweetness, the bacon, the sausage, you know, the fattiness of the sausage, th this is just, unbelievable marriage made in heaven okay these four ingredients okay so they go in for another five minutes and as you see you can see one of them's opened at the top one yeah one of them opened all right but what i realized was that they needed to go back in they need to go into a bit more and i think it's because i'd been opening and closing the air fryer looking and checking because i wanted the video to be right and then obviously they needed a couple minutes if you just if you just uh blitzed it you could probably do it in 10 but you want to make sure that your bacon's crispy, you know, because everyone loves nice, crispy bacon. These these sausages in the air fryer, I will suspect, would be cooked in about seven minutes, okay, because it's so hot in that. I did 200 degrees, okay, 200 degrees. These tiny little sausages, seven minutes, they will be done, okay? So it's all about how crispy you want your bacon, okay? And you know you want you want it crispy, the honey's gonna crisp it up even more as well. Nice caramelization. Let's go. All right, guys, this. so today we were cooking the Christmas classic, which is the pigs in blankets, or as my family used to call them back in the day in their say what you see fashion, sausage bacons. <laughs> and they were mandatory. 
they were absolutely mandatory for the Christmas sesh. Um, we didn't really have them much at other times of the year. It was a Christmas thing. And as I say, they were mandatory. Uh, and I can remember one year my mum forgot to make them and it did not go down well with my brother. Because to be perfectly honest, that was the only thing that he was really looking forward to for the Christmas meal. Loves those pigs and blankets and he could have at that point in time just had a plate of them and he would have been a ha happy bunny. Do you know what I mean? So um, I know that in other parts of the world that they make sausage uh, pigs in blankets slightly differently, pastry and whatnot as an alternative to the bacon. But, you know, we all know that you know, that's sausage rolls, pigs in blankets. We're using these now. These have come out great. They only took about 10 minutes in the air fryer, you know, which is what you would expect. Mandatory shot. Can we get it? There we go. Looks pretty decent, looks pretty decent. So the way that we have elevated these and what makes these a bit special is the fact that we used sage and we used honey to absolutely miracle ingredients that add flavor to pretty much anything. They are staple ingredients. I use them a fair amount. Sage particularly for me, it's probably my favorite dried herb, my favorite dried herb. Um, it adds so much to so many different recipes. Um, and what I would say is I cook these for an additional two minutes on top of the 10, so we did 12. And you could go, uh, you could go a little bit longer, depending on your preference for the end result with the bacon. Okay, if you want it to go real to town with it, you could probably do another two minutes um, to get it really, really, really crispy. Um, you know, we spoke about bacon when we did the bacon double cheeseburger um, Burger King copycat recipe which went down an absolute storm um, so let's have the old taste test let's have the old taste test now I left these out for a couple of minutes before I, I smashed on the record button because as you can expect the sausages were absolutely steaming and when I picked out the first time nearly scalded me old hands so let's take a bite It's another one where you just know it's gonna be good. Bacon, sausage, sage, honey. I mean, if you mess this up, what can I say? These will, will enhance any Christmas dinner. Absolutely guaranteed. Now, if you wanted to add more work to your um, the attempt, Right, what you can do, and what I have done in the past, which did take a lot of time, was instead of putting the herbs on the top, you could season the bacon with the herbs before you roll, but you're adding, you know, probably another 10 minutes into the, the time of preparing, so it's much easier to sprinkle on the top. Um, either way, works really, really well. Also, what's really good for pigs in blankets is to get yourself a nice burger bun slam a few of them on the inside, bit of cranberry sauce. You've got an amazing Christmas sandwich. Um, you could put a little bit of gravy, a bit of stuff in, like if you've got any other, anything else kicking about, but pigs in blankets, a bit of cranberry sauce in the burger bun, that will go down an absolute treat. Let's just uh, smash another one because why not? We're here, you know, it's Christmas, I think. That is just so damn good. Um, if you wanted to use an alternative to honey, you could use maple syrup, but you know, we're not all made of money. Or alternatively, you could sprinkle over a little bit of brown sugar. Okay, a little bit of brown sugar. You know, when you bake your, when you bake your bacon, okay, you can sprinkle a little bit of, a bit of uh, brown sugar on it and it makes 
absolutely sensationally uh, OTT bacon, okay? And you could do the same here instead of honey, um, maple syrup, all these sorts of things. Also, you could do loads of different toppings. So obviously I did honey and I did sage. You could twist it up. Literally, you know, this is bacon and sausage, okay? So many things are gonna go well with it. You could put um, pesto. I spoke about pesto the other day. I can't remember what video it was, but we're talking about pesto. It goes with so many things. It would go absolutely golden, a little bit spread across the top. So that caramelized almost like chars in the air fryer. That would go down an absolute tree. Anyway. I'm waffling. I'm going to demolish the rest of that plate in a minute. But you know, you've got to this and you got to this point in the video, you know, hit the thumbs up button. I really do appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you are a brand new subscriber. Check out the channel. There's loads of videos to do with copycat recipes, air fryer recipes. They're two things I, I really like doing. I also like cooking things in a slow cooker. Um, so there's, there's lots of decent uh, videos on the channel. Loads of stuff coming soon in the new year. Got it all mapped out, ready to go. Um, so as I say, you know, if you want to support the channel, go down to the description, you can check out all the information that's there, loads of ways that you can help, help us out, um, and keep this going. Thanks very much. Have a great time. See you in the new year.